Hey, so today I'm just going to talk about a few um, TV shows and movies that I've watched recently. Um, the first one is Caliphate. Uh, one of my wife's friends told her about this show on Netflix, um, so we decided to watch it. They said it was really good, and I thought it was really good. I hope they come out with more seasons, because um, there's a lot they can do with this. Um, it's a, a Swedish-based show, so everything is dubbed, which <clears throat> doesn't really bother me. Um, no spoilers or anything like that for the show. It's on Netflix. But when the two girls wanted to go to Syria, were they stupid? What exactly did they think was going to happen? I don't know. You can't blame the victim, but in situations like that, it's it's like stupidity. I don't know. But I would really encourage uh, everyone to watch it. It's a uh, it's a really good show. Um, another one that I watched was a movie called Tank Girl. This is a movie that came out back in like '95, and the reason I watched it is because a, a friend of mine. Um, who has since passed. She was Tank Girl for Halloween back in uh, 2011. And it's got pictures of it and everything like that. Um, and so I don't know if that was like a big... I don't know if that was like a movie that she really enjoyed or or what. But I decided to give it a watch just to, uh, just to see. The movie itself is definitely dated not the best um and I think they picked the wrong actress to play because they they picked Lori Lori Petty um and obviously I'm not familiar with the comics or anything like that but I just feel like she was a bit old to play the type of character that she was playing um but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. So, that was that was definitely a one-timer. Uh, let's see what else have I watched recently. Um, Blue Velvet. Um, so, this is one of those shows I've known about for years um, and have never watched. Um, I... I started on Twin Peaks and had a hard time with it, so I ended up stopping after on like the third episode. Um, Blue Velvet, I went through the entire movie and I really, really enjoyed it. And I was just in the more, I was in the mood for some more David Lynch, so I decided to check out um, to try Twin Peaks again. And I will admit that I gotten about as far as I did the first time and I have stopped watching it so I guess that for me it's around uh, episode three that is just um, I don't know it just loses my interest for whatever reason and I'm gonna I'm gonna pick back up and start watching it over again or not over again but uh where I left off on episode three but uh, as of right now it's I'm not I'm not too big into it. Um, let's see. Is there something else? Um, Phantasm. <laughs> um, on the podcast. Uh, let's see. What's it called? The, the Flop House. And I got something in my eye. On the, uh, on the uh, podcast, The Flop House. Um, they always make fun of this this show the fan uh phantasm um so i decided to uh, check it out and they they always make fun of it so i didn't i wasn't expecting too much but it wasn't even like a good bad movie it was it was like a bad bad movie um i would not want to watch it again i watched jane silent reboot that was horrible um I don't know what Kevin Smith is thinking or doing, but yeah, that was really bad. Even trying to make fun of itself, it it didn't work. 
Um, I watched Raw Deal, which is I had never seen before, but it's one of Arnold's 80s movies. And I think they tried to... I don't know why it falls flat. Did they try to make him an... Like a... An actor? Uh, he's... He's good with action stunts and stuff like that. Maybe they tried to put too much plot into it or something. I don't know, but it it just wasn't the best, wasn't the the best Arnold movie. So it was pretty much a one timer. I don't need to see it again. However, there was one phrase in there that that had me on the floor. <laughs> Towards the beginning of the movie, his wife is pissed, and she throws she bakes a cake and she throws it throws it at him. Um. And he looks at her and just with a straight face says, you should not drink and bake. <laughs> um, so I thought that was pretty funny. So, yeah, those are just a few things that I've uh, I've been watching recently.